Do you know what makes a good horror film? Subtlety. You know what people refuse to immerse themselves in? Subtlety. And what does everyone want? A good horror film. It's the same concept as everyone wanting a magical solution to their problem, but refusing to believe in magic. People watch horror films and get annoyed at the characters, telling themselves they would do far better in a situation such as that. But if horror films aren't real, then how do you handle them when they do get real? I was sitting in bed, music playing through the tinny speakers of my headphones, writing down ideas and generally doodling in my notebook. Late night writing is where you get these ideas that your rational self looks at later and wonders from which room of a mental institution that came from. But it does blossom into something else later. I looked around the room and wrote down, The Darkness, before I was cut off by a thump. I frowned, looking up and pulling off my headphones, and there was nothing. I pushed my headphones back up and David Bowie continued to sing about heroes. The darkness is alive. I finished writing. An inkling of an idea that might blossom into something entirely different later. For now, it wasn't real. Maybe it wouldn't even turn into anything. Thump. My head snapped up the way it can only do when powered by an instinct. Nothing. I dropped my gaze back at the notebook and continued to draw in. Draw in. Doodling. Mindlessly. The desk light blinked out. It was the only thing lighting up the room and illuminating my page and pen. I was plunging into the deep end of the dark without any warning. I made an irritated noise in the back of my throat and pulled off my headphones again just as the song changed. I waited for my vision to adjust before sliding off my bed. Stumbling slightly, I managed to make it over to the light switch. I flicked it up. The air stayed the color of pitch. The small sound of Foo Fighters echoed out of my headphones from the bed, and a gust of air flew into my neck. Was my window open? I couldn't remember. My hand trailed down from where it had still been resting, on the light switch, just as the music was suddenly cut off. Silence. Darkness. I swallowed down the bile that was rising in my throat and tried to ignore my quickening pulse as my heart rose up along with the bile. I stepped cautiously forward, aiming in the general direction, direction of the door. As I reached the midway point, the gust of air slammed to my neck again, and I whipped around. Just the silence and the dark. Both were empty. I still took a step back, though. This wasn't real. Just my brain playing tricks on me. I backed into a corner. It wasn't real. I shrunk back, making myself as small as possible. Isn't real. The darkness is grabbing at me. It is not real. It reaches out with long, clawed, and shrouded fingers. Not real. All of a sudden, the last of the light blinks out, and every sound is magnified. The hum of the electricity, the rumble of the plumbing, the soft laughter of the darkness as it mocks me. Real. <laughs>